back into London for the first time. I'm nervous, guys. I can't believe we've never met. Lash extensions at home. I've done one eye. This is my rating of the look spicy. Sunny loves Chelsea. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog, it is Monday morning right now. Oh, what is Sunny doing? She's on an absolute rampage. Oh, she's having a poo, nice. Anyway, it's Monday morning. It's actually about lunchtime now. So this morning I've been doing loads of little worky bits, loads of like loose ends that needed tying. So I'm feeling good today. And this afternoon, one of my best friends, Chelsea, is coming down. So recently Chelsea moved to Norfolk kind of way. So I don't see her as much anymore, unfortunately. But she's coming down today, so I'm very excited about it. But for Chelsea's arrival, I thought I'd bake some little brownies because my cousin gave me a really good recipe and it's actually gluten free as well. Not not that either of us suffer with gluten intolerances, but they were just the best brownies I've ever had. She's still doing a poo. Talking of brownies. But yeah, I'm gonna get baking then because Chelsea's probably like an hour away now. Need to get changed and do my hair as well. I've done my face and caught up on Love Island, so all in all, we're after quite a good week. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that's happened to you this week. I love reading those kind of comments on these weekly vlogs. It makes my heart feel full. I'll leave a link to this recipe in the description down below because my cousin has sent me a photo of it from a book. So yeah, if you are interested in making the best brownies on the planet, the ingredients and the method and everything I will have written down below. But let's get going, making a good old brownie for Chelsea's arrival. She's a beauty, guys. I'm excited to see how this turns out. <laughs> My hair is... <laughs> is this angle okay or not? I don't really care at this point. Do you know what I mean? Chelsea's here. Hello. Chelsea's driven. It actually took you two hours today, didn't it? Yeah, about two hours. What was the best oh. song you listened to on your way here? Do you know what I really like? You know that song, Three Nights? No. Three Nights at the Motel. You know that one? No. One, on. Sunny's with us as well, by the way. By Dominic Fike, but I don't think anyone's going to know who that is. But listen, listen, listen. I don't know it. You don't know this song. <laughs> Chelsea's actually been here for quite a while now. It's now half past five, Sunny. Jeez. A little face. <laughs> and we're going to go out for dinner tonight. We didn't have yeah. any plans, but we managed to book somewhere local um, last minute, which is fab. So in an hour, we're going out for some burgers. Are you going to have a burger? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for yeah. a burger. I'm very I, uh, excited. They specialise in burgers, don't they? So I feel like yeah. they're, it's the best bet. Or Can't ribs. go wrong with a burger. I don't like ribs, do you? No, I think it's just too much hassle to eat. Are you chilling? Sunny loves Chelsea. <laughs> Don't you? Hello. She's got wet feet, so we've just taken her for a walk. And then washed your feet, didn't we? We did. We're here now, guys. We did both go for a burg. Happy to announce. Oh, you look so pretty, Chelsea. Your hair looks so mermaidy today. It's really curly today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Really curly. Anyway, we went for literally the exact same meal. Both got um, a burger with... It's gone really quiet. I feel awkward. <laughs> Bacon, cheese, crispy onions. Oh, I feel really awkward. Really suddenly. So me and Chelsea have seen these back cracking um, <laughs> videos on TikTok. By the way, we're home now, had a lovely dinner. And we don't believe that people can actually twist all the way round to crack their back. Their arm literally touches the floor. So you have to like put your shoulder, don't try this at home. You have to like put your shoulder on the floor like and that. then twist twist this arm so this touches the ground. How? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way. I don't get it. <laughs> Am I close? <laughs> Am I nearly there? You've done quite well there. Have I? Yeah. How close am I? <laughs> We're too old for TikTok is what I've learned. Yeah, we are. 100%. Too old for TikTok. Morning. It's me again. Oh, this bit of hair. Hang on, let me put you down so we can have a little chat. Does anyone else have a bit of hair like this at the front of your head? Like, can you see at the top there it's supposed to go that way? But it just doesn't. It wants to go the other way and then it just ends up in the middle. Like, why? And why is it so short? <laughs> it ends here. It's just very annoying. Anyway, I had the loveliest time with Chelsea when she came over. I honestly didn't realise how much I needed to socialise. I'm very comfortable in my own company, especially because of lockdown. Don't get me wrong, I've always been a bit of an introvert, but after lockdown, I was too comfortable. But seeing Chelsea has definitely flipped a switch in my mindset and I do really want to see 
see people more and I am today. So today I'm heading into London again for the first time. I'm going to meet my lovely friend Demi. I've never met her before. She's a YouTuber too. Her name is Demi Donnelly. I am obsessed with her videos but she lives in Newcastle so we've never met before because we're literally like the other ends of the country but she's in London for a few days so I'm going to head into Central tonight and we're going to go out for dinner. She's also bringing one of her friends Katie so I'm excited to meet her too. I'm just excited to socialise. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous about going back into London though. It's funny because I used to travel so much like four hour journeys every other weekend and stuff like that. It did make me a little bit nervous every time and now that I literally haven't gotten on a train for over a year my anxiety has been bad today I'm not gonna lie but I'll be fine once I'm on that train all will be good all will be dandy. And just a quick one this section of the video is very kindly sponsored by the team over at Surfshark. You may have heard me raving about Surfshark before so Surfshark is a VPN. It's a virtual private network app and browser extension which essentially acts as a shield. It helps you keep your internet connection safe while you're using public Wi-Fi. But Surfshark also lets you place your phone or your laptop anywhere in the world and lets you access the internet as if you're in that country which is another great feature but anyway back to public Wi-Fi. Obviously like I mentioned I am going into London this evening and I will be using public Wi-Fi. I think actually the trains in my area have been upgraded during lockdown or over the past couple of years. I'm not really sure. I guess I'll find out today but I know the trains do have public Wi-Fi now which obviously I will be using. It is very handy but it's also a gold mine for hackers. While I'm on my train journey with my earphones in looking out the window pretending I'm in a movie I will definitely be using Surfshark on my phone because when you use a VPN your IP address remains a secret. So when you connect to a different server like Miami or New York wherever you want to go to it has a different IP address. So anyone who sees this connection would think you're browsing the internet from Miami, New York etc etc. So even on my trip to the big city Surfshark is going to be keeping all my personal information and my bank details safe which is obviously fab. So guys if you want to keep yourself and your information safe online I'll leave a link to Surfshark in the description down below. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk involved. I would hand on my heart recommend it to any one of my friends and family and they're offering you an incredible deal so if you use the code FABULOUS you will get 83% off and three months extra free. What a deal. Safety doesn't have to come at a cost to my friends. Okay, I've found the outfit, I think. It's so hard to know what the weather's gonna be like because it's like it's hot in London, but it's not that hot here and I'm gonna be coming home late, you know? So a bit of an issue, but I think I've got there. Also just realized I can't wear lipstick today because I'm gonna be wearing a mask for all of the journey. Also lost my eyelash glue. Not looking my best, but I think it's good enough. This is the outfit I'm going for. I'll put a picture on screen here. I posted a picture of this on Instagram Instagram once and I was scrolling through my outfits and I was like do you know what I like this one we've got the shirt We've got the vest top. I feel like this will be a bit warmer later on. We've got the funky faux leather trousers. I'm going to take the Louis Vuitton out. I've not used it for ages. And hopefully, this is a weather appropriate outfit for today. All right, then. This is what the outfit looks like all together. I've just got to put my little white Converse on. I'm going to wear like the scalloped Converse because they're super cute. And they're a little bit more formal than normal Converse. I'm absolutely boiling. I'm hoping it's just my bedroom and that when I get outside my front door, it's not going to be as hot. But I need to get going. Otherwise, I'm not going to get to the station in time to catch my train for the very first time in over a year. Why am I nervous? I used to do this all the time. City of mine How I love How I love The city of mine It never gets me down City of mine We're at Wagamama's Look who I'm with is Katie and Demi. <laughs> how exciting. I can't believe we've never met. We literally we talked for long. yeah, we have. Well. Same, I feel like we're the same person, like with the puppies and everything, but yeah, she took my mental when I got the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless you, but it's so nice to meet you both. Finally. Me and Katie both got the teriyaki soba. I got the katsu chicken and Katie got the salmon. That looks so good. I'm gonna have to get that next time. Who's excited for a girls' night? Woo! <laughs> Me again, guys. So we're now in a bar. I've actually, I've forgotten to update you, I'm not gonna lie. It's quarter past 10 now. Uh, we've been in here for a couple of hours, actually, haven't we? Yeah. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. We're still all here. Here's the gal. Demi had, we've actually been really, really good yeah, today. Demi had two non-alcoholic beers. Yeah. Katie, 
Hey Tony, have one cocktail. That's still good. Yeah, getting through it slowly but surely. And I've had two mocktails. So, I mean, pretty good all round today. Yeah. You guys have got to be up early, haven't you? Yeah. So, we just say that we had a bit of a uh, hectic night last night in a jazz club. <laughs> yeah. So, and I had two mornings with drinks. So I was like, I'll take a chill. Yeah. Nice What's your girl? What? I was like, are you coming? I'm not. I, just like, mm. I, said, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but we've had a really nice evening. Yeah. Well, I have anyway. I've had a lovely evening. Yeah, of Glad you both had too. It's just nice to like see people again and like yeah. talk to people in your industry. Yeah. It's so rare, but yeah. I've had a good night. Thanks, girls. I had the loveliest night with Demi and Katie last night. It was so nice to be out with people and chatting and seeing people my age and in my industry. Just everything about it was so lovely. I'm not going to lie, like the way home, I missed my train on the way back, which was really annoying. I had to wait for another half an hour for the next one. But I was sat there in Stratford Station, looking out, looking at all the people around, thinking... I don't miss traveling in and out of London at all. I'm definitely a country girl, not a city girl. Obviously, I don't mind going into London to meet friends and things like that, but it's just not for me and that's all right. Anyway, it's now Thursday and I'm about to do a little online event. So it's with Kiss and it's to celebrate the launch of their false cara. So they're basically like lash extensions at home. They sent over the whole package. This event starts in two minutes, so I've got to be quick. They sent over a Kaz band because Kaz is actually on this call, but the main event is these lashes. So I think I'm going to apply these ones if we get the choice. But yeah, it's basically lash extensions that you do at home. It says if you can mascara, you can false scar up. So I think it's going to be pretty easy. They've also sent over this like serum type thing which you can put on after and it helps them last up to 10 days which is great. We've got the remover as well. They also sent this light up mirror. Hang on let me turn it on. It's got like a little magnifying bit as well. How clever. There we go. And they sent a mojito and some cookies as well. So I'm going to get to this event now. Oh my god hang on we've got one minute. I need to go. And you might see me when I've got some lashes on which is why I'm looking a bit odd because they told everyone to arrive to the event with all your makeup except your mascara because obviously we're all going to be doing our lashes together and learning how to apply them so once i've done it i'll let you know what i think you literally hold the lash and hold it underneath the eye and it will like stick to your lashes as soon as you get the hang of it it's super easy so i'm going to go in with the second one literally like so and i'm working my way in yeah what about how many do you use because i only use three i use uh four i've got my three on and that's what i do nice you can wear them underneath your lash so it's super super natural people think that i'm wearing individuals okay we're halfway through the event there's a little dj set going on right now and we're all about to apply the lashes we just had the master class i've got them here in front of me i've got everything i need i'm actually really excited they looked beautiful when kaz put them on and it took her like not even 10 minutes i've done one eye and I'm so impressed. Doesn't that look like I've had my lashes done, like lash extensions? It's actually really easy to do them. And they go underneath your lashes, so there's no like chance of it coming off the top, if you know what I mean. And if you use the overnight serum, they can last up to 10 days. Here we go. Both eyes are done. Sorry for the extreme close-up, but I want to be helpful. I think they look so good. They're not like excessively long. I literally can't even feel them on my eyes either. See that? Oh my god, they feel so nice. This is them if I I look down and up I am obsessed. I love them. And you can reuse them three times as well. Hang on, let me zoom out. <laughs> yeah, you can reuse them three times. You can just put them on for like a night out or something if you want, instead of putting on strip lashes. Or you can keep them on with that serum for up to 10 days. And I just did that in 10 minutes. Thank you, Kiss, for inviting me to this event and for sending me these lashes because I'm now going to have an addiction to these. <laughs> Hello, my loves. I wanted to give you a quick eyelash update. So it's it's now Saturday. Obviously, I've still got the lashes on. For the past two nights, I've been using this Falscara Overnighter, which is like the bond that keeps them on longer than like your normal strip lashes. I am really impressed with them. The only thing I would say is don't use too much of that overnighter because the first night I like lathered it on to make sure they were stuck and I woke up in the morning and my eyes were like, they felt gross. They felt like I had loads of product in them. But last night I learned from my lesson and I put way less on my lash line 
and I woke up this morning they were absolutely fine so it was my fault but yeah that's what I've learned from them I've literally only got concealer on today because it's so hot so please excuse my appearance but yeah I'm really pleased with the lashes I've also showered with them on I've wiped them every morning to like wipe my eyes and make sure I feel all nice and clean and so far so good they really feel like actual extensions I think I'm going to take them off today just so I can show you like how they come off but yeah it's really hot today I'm about to pop out to pets at home I'm gonna go with my mum and leave Sunny at home because it's really really hot we've been out for a walk this morning and she's knackered and we're also going to get a little McDonald's for lunch because I want to try the McSpicy here's a close-up of the lashes in case you're interested yeah so I've had them on for almost 48 hours now I've slept in them for two nights I'm impressed I love that when you look down, you can't see them. It just looks like my eyelashes. So I'm just in pets at home. I came in for this Kong section to look for some like um, entertaining toys. I actually was looking for this one that I saw on Amazon. So I'm gonna get this for her. She has to like spin it and get the treats out. But I always get carried away in pets at home. It's like my version of mother care. So I've also got her a frisbee and look at this little lolly. That's so summery. Okay, it's me again. Wow, this is a very official angle for the car. <laughs> I've got the McSpicy. Hang on, I need to sanitize my hands quickly. So my order today, I got the McSpicy chicken burger because I want to try that as a medium meal with an iced caramel frappe. I haven't had these for ages and then I had one with Chelsea the other day. I kind of switched to the vanilla milkshake with an espresso mix in it, but I fancied a caramel iced frappe the other day, so I had one and enjoyed it. Anyway, that's long-winded. My estimation is that it's gonna be about a four out of 10 on the spicy scale. This is my rating of the McSpicy. Oh, really spicy. Oh, it's actually really, oh, it just hit the back of my throat. <laughs> I would probably say it's like a maybe a seven or an eight out of ten on the spicy scale. That's surprising. It's spicy as that. Mm, that's a lot spicier than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely spicier than the spicy chicken nuggets were. Anyway, we're going to enjoy our McDonald's now in the car park and then go home. People watching. Mm, what a lunchtime view. I could sit here for an hour and just watch. Me too. Excuse my face, guys. I just cried. But I am going to take my eyelashes off now. I wouldn't because it's only been three days. I would actually leave them on longer than this, but I just think it's helpful for this vlog to show you like how they come off. Shake well before use and saturate a cotton pad with the remover. Place over your eyes and hold for 10 seconds. I'm also halfway through doing my nails, so excuse those. Wow, I'm not vibing right now. <laughs> and then I think you just wipe it. Oh, one's came off. Oh my god, threes came off. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and there's no damage to my actual lashes. That didn't hurt at all. None of them came out. Wow, I rate these lashes very much so. It is 11 p.m. the night before you're watching this vlog and I just realised I never ended it. As always, everything I mentioned in this vlog is linked in the description down below. Don't forget to go and check out Surfshark and grab yourself a right little bargain. Do subscribe to see my future videos, but for now, I'm nearly done, I promise. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys, love ya!